Central Arkansas. This is an update. I believe it's been seven years now. I'm me grafting what was originally a four pear and apple tree, which is now a three pear and apple tree. And this is what it looks like today. We've got the ladder up there and the battery powered chainsaw. And you can see that I've removed the two pieces that, let me get my finger in the video, uh, here and behind it, the little bit taller one, because it was going way up there. You can see some other ones over here I want to do some work on. And what was caught, it was so top heavy when the wind's blowing it, um, I was really concerned about this area down here, which is starting to grow around now. Uh, that was probably cold damage that split the bark. Anyway, that needs to heal, but it was so top heavy blowing, I was concerned it would just snap this um, during some of our really bad windstorms. Uh, so that's part of why I'm doing the pruning today. I should have done it in the winter before the buds broke, but I'm going to do it now anyway. So the other reason is because I want to open up a little bit in the center and uh, have the fruit pickable. Because when it's that high, way up there, it's just not, I can't get to it. Um, it was going to be a kind of an ornamental fruit tree. And the functionality of an ornamental, actual fruiting fruit tree is kind of contrary to what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this down and prune up some of that. This is a lot of apple side over here, the kind you don't see any leaves on yet. And we're going to just bring the tree down some and open it up some. That's a lot of material removed. As you can see, I brought down the height of that and kind of opened up the center. Make it more of a functional tree. Even out the apple to the pear side. And it's all of this pretty drastic and over pruning can kill a tree from what I've read. Um, I think it'll be okay. If you look here where I originally did the bark grafts, this is wood glue that I put on there seven years ago when I originally did the graft. Look how big that graft is now. But yeah, it seems to work pretty good. So I'm gonna put wood glue on all the open wounds. If you look here on the apple, this has gotta be woodpecker damage. Trying to find some uh, insects, grubs, I don't know what they are in there, but they probably would have killed this tree had the woodpecker not gotten them. So I'm gonna take some wood glue and also pull in that, that uh, Put them in them holes and see if I can. It's probably too late, but I think it's going to survive. And I'll put in some wood glue there too, along with all the fresh cuts. Maybe not the ones as small, but the bigger ones like right up here. So this is the product and what I'm using. You can see here, I put it in all the holes. And honestly, don't follow what I'm doing. I don't even know where I got this from using wood glue. I know it worked with this but I may have just killed that graft right there, that apple, the only apple graft right here. And it's getting closer to merging with the tree here. This is always, the apple side's always been larger than the pear side, but it had some wood cracking here too that I put some glue on just to help. Um, let me get up the ladder and I'll show you where I put it up the bigger cuts. That's what it looks like on the bigger cuts. That's the biggest one, and then you have some smaller ones here. I didn't put it on as thick as I did when I did the bark graft down there. But hopefully this will help that heal over. So this is the curb appeal, if you will. That's what the tree looks like post, post uh, pruning. And provided I didn't kill it, that thing, those new shoots, they will burst out. This thing will lift, leaf out aggressively and should be a pretty looking tree in about three months when it fully leaves out and I have some fruits on it. Now over here about a week or two you can see some trimmings on the ground there. I had pruned, not pruned, I grafted onto the bottom of this Cleveland Select pear and uh, both of the trees by the way including this little one here Cleveland Selects but anyway uh, flowering pears. But anyway I grafted only on the bottom here because my wife would have absolutely choked me if I would have cut that completely down and grafted to it regular pears. 
So I'd grafted to the very bottom only. And those things, they were so full of fruit and so heavy that it was bending the branches down and I couldn't get underneath there to mow very easily. So I did some pruning of this one too. And you can see it's cleaned up. I'll be able to get underneath there. There was so much fruit on this thing. Um, grafting off all this probably is not, it's gonna be barely noticeable for the amount of fruit that we eat. And you can see all those little flowers should become fruits. And this is a good time of the year too because the Cleveland Select is just now beginning to flower. Whereas the bottom fruiting pears, three different types on here. Let me see if I can remember. It's uh, Comus, Hood, and Moonglow uh, on this one. Wait a minute, this may be full, all four still. So, um, Purdue is the other one. So this, yeah, I think this does has all four. The one that was hard to graft was the Comus. And the smaller tree over there, it couldn't grow any Comus, but this branch right here, these are Comus, and I do love the Comus pear. The bees are out. I don't know if you can hear it. Some years the bees don't get out very early. And so we don't get a, well, we don't get bees until later, late spring. But they're out this year pretty good. I can hear them, even though I can't see them very well here. Let me walk around here and see if I can get a couple in the camera. Yeah, there's a lot of flowers over here. There's probably gonna be some. I can hear them. Right there. Not long after this was planted, I guess two or three years after, this thing was in full bloom and I came out here and the buzzing from the bees was amazing. I think I have a video on that too, if you want to look that up. But anyway, yeah, awesome. This is a tray now. See the apples haven't leafed out really much. You got some bees on the flowers. The pears did this three weeks, maybe four, even four weeks ago, but we had a freeze too. But you can see some pears have set here despite the freeze. Um, a bunch on the big tree over there uh, I lost, but so the way it goes some years. So the apples will set fruit now, hopefully, and um, then they'll leaf out nicely and the tree will look not so lopsided, especially after the new growth forms. Today's the 1st of August and the final clip of the video for this year, 2022, showing the latest on the apple and pear tree combined. You can see some fruit here. I'm not sure if it has four apples on it anymore. In fact, I'm quite certain it has probably two, maybe three uh, fruits on it. But that's one of them there. I think that's Purdue. And there's a few in there. You'll notice the darker branches there. That's fire blight. And I just got through cutting out a bunch of fire blight. Uh, it attacked it again this year. Um, so you can see the pears there, I chipped off, or chipped off, I cut off a big part of this branch here because it was weighted way down. And over here you can see the apples, and the reason why I got the video now is because they're cracking and animals or heat will get to this eventually. There's a few apples on here, less than there was not long ago. Um, just a quick update on the, the bark of the tree. Uh, you can see all the woodpecker damage after the repair I did there. And it's not dying yet, so I'm hopeful maybe this will heal. Um, but you know there's some more damage here. We got an offshoot over here that's looking healthy-er. <laughs> but uh, none of this is related to um, the graft itself and being able to survive on the tree because I think this is year seven. If it's not, I'll put it in the video. Uh, but you can see there was some winter damage here a few years back and that is coming around. It's going to probably touch in about three more years and grow back together provided nothing else happens to the tree. So that's kind of a general outlook. 
you saw earlier in the video, it's been months and months for me where I topped out the majority of the tree. Um, I also took off the metal support bar that was holding this piece right here stable until it grew, but now you can see it's a good six inches or so in diameter and it's growing over this part of the tree. So if you're interested in seeing this whole um, grafting project from the beginning, I have a playlist on it and this will be in that playlist too. It goes back seven years. Anyway, that's the latest. I can take you over here and show you these over here. I grafted um, on the lower branches with these and it didn't seem like these get ready till like September, October. And you can see the fruit is weighing down the branch here. We got some fruit over there. It's weighing down. Now I cut off a lot of these because they were, I couldn't get the lawnmower underneath it. And this is the commas, which normally doesn't grow here in the south. I'm really looking forward to those. Hopefully they'll, um, I can get some before animals or critters or something takes them. Anyway, I think I'm losing fruit already. Anyway, that is the latest with the graft. And um, I call it a success with an asterisk for other issues. Year seven. We'll see you later.